This is Scott Burns for Spider TV, and we're here with Spider football head coach Danny Rocco. And Coach Rocco, what were your general impressions of the spring game this past week? Well, a lot of uh, really good things happened uh, out there on Saturday. We had a, a real good crowd that uh, was very pleasing to me to see the energy and the enthusiasm of the fans and the families involved in the uh, U of R athletics. Uh, a lot of the alumni came back, had a real nice recognition uh, there at halftime. I think holistically it was a really good day. We had uh, 17 of our incoming student athletes here uh, for the spring game. Uh, they started here early in the morning on Saturday. Uh, we did a number of different things with them, including physicals and paperwork and applications. And so we got a lot done there. And then I thought our football uh, team came prepared and, and played hard. And uh, at the end of the day, I, I felt you know, pretty good about um, the progress that has been made and then felt real good about the, the energy in the stadium and the support and the comments that we've gotten uh, from the alumni and our fan base. Delving a little bit into more into the game, the defense was able to come away with a victory at the spring game, but what were your overall impressions of your offensive performance? Well, I think the defense was a little bit of ahead of the offense. Um, it's been like that most of spring. Um, offensively, I think that you have to be careful a little bit to judge on a snapshot. I think uh, what we saw out there Saturday was kind of a, a snapshot of uh, the entire uh, spring. Uh, the spring in its entirety was a lot more productive offensively. Uh, statistically on offense, our numbers weren't real good. Our total yardage wasn't real good. Our completion percentages weren't real good. Uh, all three quarterbacks threw an interception uh, in the game. I should say three of the four. Uh, so, you know, offensively, we certainly didn't uh, perform the way that we need to be able to perform, nor did we perform uh, in a way that was consistent with most of spring football. Uh, so uh, defense kind of had the upper hand, and I think the score was evidence there with the uh, outcome and the final score. Yeah, there's some definitely some strong performances on that defensive side of the ball, uh, highlighted by really the senior captain, uh, Cooper Taylor. Yeah, Cooper had a real good spring and a really good uh, spring game. I, I was uh, real excited and pleased with the intensity, uh, the physicality uh, of our defense. Um, I, I challenged the defense um, after practice 13, I think it was. I called them out a little bit. Uh, they responded, uh, which was very encouraging. Um, Coach Trott and the defensive staff, you know, had them ready to go. Uh, they were uh, flying around pretty good. They were physical. It all starts in the defensive line. Uh, I think both of our first and second group in the D line played hard and played well. Um, Kerry Wynn had a very uh, productive day. Uh, statistically, maybe didn't have a lot of uh, acknowledgement, but he was in the backfield from the first play where he batted a ball and almost intercepted it uh, until the end of the game. So really encouraged with the physicality, the intensity at which the group played, uh, and I think we're developing some depth there on defense. With spring practice now wrapped up, you, what's next for the Spider football team as you head into the summer? Well, Finals. <laughs> Guys have got to finish up well in school, you know. So we talk all the time about finishing strong and, uh, you know, keep your guard up, don't let your guard down. And uh, so we have some, you know, voluntary weight room opportunities here the next couple of weeks. These guys are going to focus in on, on academics and uh, uh, finishing strong in the classroom. I've uh, got a couple of team meetings scheduled here throughout the course of the week to review the spring game and just kind of wrap up uh, spring in its entirety. And then uh, Friday afternoon, we have a Friday evening, we have a team dinner. Uh, champions dinner where we'll kind of celebrate uh, the spring and the spring game and uh, really much uh, very much looking forward to that.